Ostrak. Any conversation about Cy Ostrak has to begin with his extraordinary achievements in the realm of aerospace engineering. The phrase that you often hear thrown about Cy, particularly in the last few days, is that he was a giant in the field. His career began with bachelor's and master's degrees in engineering from the University of Rhode Island, followed by master's and PhD degrees in applied mathematics from Brown University. He came to work in Cleveland in the NACA Aircraft Engines Research Laboratory, the predecessor to the NASA Glenn Center, which eventually led him to coming to the Case Institute of Technology, where he'd make his home as the chair of Fluid, Thermal, and Aerospace Sciences Department for the next 45 years. But while any conversation about Cy begins with his success as an engineer, it ends with his passion for wrestling. He was a highly regarded wrestler in high school and planned to wrestle in college, but World War II derailed his plans. It began during his freshman year of school, and the wrestling program was terminated, so with so many men heading into military service. While his career as a wrestler came to an end, he spent 25 years as one of the most respected wrestling officials in the country even working the NCAA Division I championships. Cy's so love for wrestling and collegiate athletics drew him to the CWRU program. He was a faculty liaison for the Spartan wrestling team and a constant presence at their events, including the annual meet in January named in his honor. So I would take his role a step further, though, meeting frequently with coaches and athletes. His mark was left on the program in a way that few others have been able to accomplish. So I was also a mainstay in the president's box of football games, including the first two this season. So I was excited to be inducted into the Spartan Club Hall of Fame, so much so that on Monday afternoon, he called the department to confirm his final arrangements for the event. Everyone was saddened to learn that later that day, he passed away at the age of 93, leaving behind him an unmatched legacy. His plaque states, Dr. Cy Ostrak, is the Wilbur Dis Austin Distinguished Professor Emeritus of Engineering at Case Western Reserve University and former director of the National Center for Space Exploration Research. He is acknowledged by NASA as one of the 12 superstars of modern aeronautics and is a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences as well as the National Academy of Engineering. He retired in 2005 after 45 years on the CWRU faculty. Over the course of a 60-year career, Ostrich had made groundbreaking contributions to the engineering and to the understanding of natural convection and physiologic and microgravi microgravity flows. Dr. Ostrich also designed major experiments that flew aboard the space shuttle in 1992 and 1995. Aside from his impactful accomplishments in the engineering profession, Dr. Ostrich was a highly regarded high school wrestler and spent 25 years as one of the most highly respected NCAA wrestling officials in the nation. He has been a supporter of CWRU Wrestling and its faculty liaison for the past 20 years, serving as a mentor to countless Spartan wrestlers and helping guide them through their athletic, academic, and professional careers. Ladies and gentlemen, here to speak a little more about Dr. Ostrak is the Case Western Reserve University head wrestling coach, Danny Song. <laughs> Appreciate everybody coming out this weekend and uh, was not expecting to give this talk tonight, but more than happy to do it. I got to know Cy uh, in August of 2015 for the first time about a month after coming to Case Western. Uh, <clears throat> and in that time, in the last two years, Cy was uh, our faculty rep and became a close family friend uh, to myself, my wife Erin, and our son Chris. Uh, as, as mentioned, Cy was a maverick. The guy was a true original. You, you've heard it maybe a couple times this week, and even tonight, uh, he's named one of 12 superstars uh, in modern aeronautics by NASA. If there was a Mount Rushmore of modern space scientists, Cy could be on it. And if Cy were a TV character, there's no doubt he'd be Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> of course, the Cy version of Sheldon would be a stud wrestler, with a lot more charisma. Uh, but as, as we grew and we had a pretty good relationship, uh, our first meeting, I, I, actually I was kind of in hot water when I, the first time I met him. So uh, Case is my first head coaching job and uh, one hit the ground running for us on a little bit of a fireball. Um, kind of shifty up here, so watch out. 
but uh, I wanted to hit the ground running and get, get everybody kind of rallied up, uh, so I drew, drafted a newsletter. I, uh, I basically, you know, pretty standard stuff. I introduced myself, uh, listed our goals, and uh, you know, listed what all it was going to take to achieve those goals. And when I got to talk to Sai after he had a chance to review the newsletter, I was pretty psyched and I'm, I'm coachable, so I'm always looking for feedback. Uh, when I talked to Sai, he said, what is this propaganda? <laughs> and he even referred to my newsletter as my manifesto. <laughs> and I'm pretty aware of my surroundings and pretty aware of my audience, um, pretty grounded guy. But when a guy who's born in 1923 and he's a Jewish male, throws around the words propaganda and, and manifesto, you better make some adjustments. And so I did, and, and we became fast friends after that. Uh, when you were around Sai, he, he, again, he was a giant in the field, but you never knew it. He was so down to earth and he was so uh, easy to talk to. Uh, he spent most uh, of our visits talking about uh, his passion for sailing and also uh, his, uh, his love for really his three universities, which were Brown, Florida State and Case Western Reserve University. Um, but beyond that, he was more proud of, of the relationships that he poured himself into over the years, and, and even more specifically, his family. He was so proud of his family and his five children, um, David, Judy, Naomi, Stephen, and his late son, Louis. Uh, he was very proud of what all they had gone on to accomplish. But getting around Cy, uh, one thing that I really appreciated about him is he was so thankful. Um, the guy came from nothing and became a pioneer in his field. And uh, I was thinking about it and, and when you're so grateful and so thankful for opportunities, they're really impossible to squander. And that's something Cy, uh, I, I think he really pounced on every opportunity that came, came his way and something that uh, he really made his mark because he was ready and, and thankful and grateful for those opportunities. Uh, and that's one of the beautiful things about Case Western Reserve University. I was thinking about it, and there's no other place in the world where a rock star in aeronautical science could mentor a wrestling coach. So that's something I was uh, pretty blessed to be a part of. Um, and with that, I'd just like to say thanks on behalf of Cy and his family. Um, but I want to say thank you uh, to the Spartan Club for putting this event together, uh, for recognizing Cy. Uh, thank you to those close family relationships that he poured into over his years. Uh, thank you to Chris Nader, Amy Backus, Gary Pillar, and Lou Stark for their leadership and their friendship. And most of all, thank you to Case Western Reserve University. Thanks. by some of Dr. Ostrak's family, and uh, we'll be presenting them a uh, size award as they will accept it on his behalf.